Roblox added their new official FPS unlocker, but is it better than Blockstrap? If you didn't know yet, Blockstrap is an app with many different features to make your Roblox experience better. And one of the most useful feature on Blockstrap is FPS unlocking. Wow. And as you can see here, you can set your frame rate limit from 0 to 9999. And in today's video, I'll be comparing Roblox's official frame rate unlocker and seeing if you really need a third party app to unlock your FPS. Okay, so I'm in one of my favorite showcase games, and over here, I'm going to click Shift and F5 to check my FPS. And as you can see on the top left corner, you can see my FPS. If I'm standing still, I get around like 220 to 30 FPS, slightly dropping to 190. And once I start moving, it's staying fairly the same amount. So right now, this FPS is using Blockstrap's frame rate limiter. And if you didn't know yet, to get the Roblox's official frame rate unlocker, click on the top left corner, or just click escape on your keyboard, then click on settings, and scroll down until you find maximum frame rate. Here you can change it from the default 60 FPS, and now Roblox has given you the options to go from 120, 144, and 240. Now that we know that I get around 230 FPS on Blockstrap, I'm gonna close Blockstrap and then run Roblox's official frame rate unlocker. Okay, so I just rejoined my private server with Blockstrap disabled, and if we check out FPS right now, it's at 60, which was normal for the most of the users. But now with Roblox's new update, if we go into menu, settings, and then maximum frame rate, let's set this to first 120 and see what it will do. As you can see, I am getting 119 to 120 FPS, as I just set it to that. But now if we set it to 240, 40, as I'm walking around, I am getting a steady 230 to 240 FPS. Even if I'm walking around, there is almost no difference to block strap, which is pretty surprising. But now that we know the difference, let's talk about some pros and cons and see if you should still download block strap and use that app. Firstly, the Roblox official FPS unlocker can be accessed by clicking two buttons, escape, settings, and it's right there. It can be used whenever, wherever. However, for Blockstrap, you need to go to their GitHub, then download Blockstrap, run it, set it all up, use fast flags, all of that, and then finally, run Roblox. Although that is another step of inconvenience, it will still give you a little bit more FPS. And let me tell you about what I'm talking about. So unlike Roblox's FPS unlocker, Blockstrap gives you an option to go up to 9999 FPS, which is nowhere to be seen in Roblox's FPS unlocker. Now you might be saying, why would I ever need more than 240 FPS? Well, some users, like people I know, have monitors that have a refresh rate of over 200. Which means they can use more FPS than 240 and still be able to experience the, let's say, 500 FPS that they're seeing. Although most Roblox users that I've talked to has a monitor refresh rate of 144 or either 60. Now, even if you do have a monitor that's only 60 hertz, you can still set it to higher than 60 hertz as it'll give you less drops and it will promise you look much smoother than setting it at 60 FPS. If we don't factor in the inconvenience of downloading Blockstrap then setting it up, Blockstrap has a ton of features that can also benefit you. There's really fun integrations like activity tracking, Discord rich presence, there's also mods that you can use, things like bringing back the old death sound which people miss a lot. You can also change your mouse cursor which was in the classic event. And the best part, you can set your frame rate limit to unlimited. So in conclusion of this video, if you have a monitor and a PC that can easily handle over 240 FPS, I suggest suggest you to get Blockstrap as it comes with many different features and the best part, the unlimited FPS unlocker. However, if you have a low-end PC and a 60Hz monitor, or maybe you're playing on laptop, the Roblox official FPS unlocker is more than enough. So in conclusion to that conclusion, if you have a good PC, good monitor, get Blockstrap. 
If you don't, just use the official FPS unlocker. It's really good. And if you want to download Blockstrap, I'll link the tutorial to downloading it on the screen or in the description down below. So make sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye, guys.